Hey, kumusta kayo lahat? I hope you're all doing well and finally we have GCQ na naman. It's great, we can go out. I need, kailangan talaga mag haircut ako eh. Mahaba mahaba na. So anyhow, today, yung video I'm gonna react to is amazing. It's from 1971 and it's showing American soldiers how the Philippines is. So basically, it's an introduction of the Philippines to American soldiers during the Vietnam War. All right, so let's have a look. It's a few clips. Okay, so let's have a look. United States Air Force audiovisual presentation. Okay. Oh, they're out in the rice fields. Bayanihan. Right. The spirit of togetherness. That's really a special thing here in the Philippines, huh? Oh, that looks good. Big commercial for San Miguel beer, huh? Oh, that one is still there. At the uh, the South Park. It's the underpass. Okay, nice. Please tell me which places you remember. This is the Philippines. Yeah. One might well suppose that having a good time would be easily accomplished in the Philippines. Right. The people are warm, Correct. fun loving, hospitable. Why then do some Americans fail to enjoy themselves here? <laughs> they do? Well, except for tourists, some Americans don't see the necessity. Okay. Having a good time is not part of the mission. Yes, of course. Other Americans, though diligent in their pursuit of pleasure, uh, but that's not right. seldom venture outside their favorite bar. Uh, that's too bad, really. While other types, simply wait to be entertained, okay. making no effort on their own. <laughs> These are individual errors. The main cause of failure, common to all parties, is a lack of understanding. Yeah. An inability to view life the way the other fellow sees okay. it. Okay. On the surface, we might not realize the very real cultural differences which distinguish Americans and Filipinos. Wherever one goes in the Philippines, there are signs in English that, directing the world. That's true. That's true. You can easily be confused here, you know, because if you come uh, for the first time to the Philippines, Deva, you will feel that everything is so easy because you can read the signs, you know, you can understand what people are saying, but that does not mean you understand the people and the culture. So I do understand what he's trying to say here that, you know, you need to look under the surface, Deva. You need to look at the people, the culture, how they are, because it it's uh it's so easy here with english being everywhere unlike if you go to like thailand you know or korea right where you can't read the signs even in vietnam even though we can read the letters but we don't understand the meaning right there are daily papers that closely resemble our own right philippines herald and in addition to their national language filipino most filipinos speak that's english. right in Ooh, the look cities at that. things have an american look Yes. Hotels, streets, and shops resemble our own. We and the Filipinos wear similar styles of dress. That's true. So similar. Like us, they have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Filipinos love to Even lie. their government resembles ours. It's a republic with duly elected president, houses of Congress, yeah. and a constitution based on the principle of freedom and equality for all. That's right. These similarities contribute to our enjoyment, smooth the difficulties of travel, and help us feel at home. That's true. But don't take too much for granted. Oh, there we are. That's really Manila City, you know, as you guys can see here. Um, you can see the Mayhem Garden, the Lawton Park, I see the City Hall, I see the old post office, of course. I see part of its moors here. Uh, Jones Bridge, Naman. Uh, we even have a case of bridge over there. I see. Wow. Basically, everything is here. It's a good shot, huh? If you think the Philippines is a carbon copy of the United States, and assume that Filipinos have the same outlook on life as Americans, you've just made your first big mistake. That's true. That's true. What makes this country different from our own? Different, really, from any other in the world. Let's take a look at some of the influences which made the Philippines what it is today. 
This is the only nation in Asia whose social heritage has been enriched by both Spanish and American cultural influences. Yet it is still an Asiatic nation. In the modern Filipino, one finds Oriental and Western attitudes at one and the same time. Well, that's really true because, as I always say, the Philippines is the only country in Asia that is different from Asia because we are the only one that's really got this American mix into the culture. Philippines is also the only country in Asia where the majority is Christian. So it really makes a big difference. So Philippines, for me, is very different from, let's say, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, or Hong Kong. It is really different. I think for many Europeans and Americans, it's much easier for them to get used to being in the Philippines exactly because you've got so much Western culture, so much uh, American influence in the Philippines. Congress. Politically, the Philippines holds a unique position as the only representative democracy in Southeast Asia. And it is the only Christian nation in right. the Asian world. The dominant faith is Catholicism, right. a heritage from centuries of Spanish rule, which saw the country gradually develop politically, economically, and culturally. Wow, that? Yet that. attitudes and customs established long before Magellan found his way to the Philippines in 1521 yeah. still flourish. Of course. For example, in contrast to Spanish Catholicism, the people are predominantly Muslim on Mindanao. Yes the second largest island. They were converted to their present religion by an Arabian priest and adventurer during the latter part of the 15th century. Oh, okay. The Philippines so is the third largest English-speaking nation in the world. Wow. That, that's really true, no? Because, of course, we've got India, no? Everybody speaks English, right? Uh, we've got the U.S. must be number one, so I'm guessing India must be number two, and then the Philippines, right? Because England, the U.K., has got less people than we have, so yeah, I guess it's really America, India, and then the Philippines, right? Yet there are seven major spoken languages. Right. Three are official. English, Is that Spanish, little boy smoking a cigarette? Filipino. Yep. <laughs> and some 60 dialects besides. The newly arrived visitor is easily confused. <laughs> Swarms of bewildering first impressions attack his senses. Yeah, 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 of course. And this may drive him up the wall. <laughs> Don't try to absorb everything at once. <laughs> he looks so scared running around. But of course, it can be very confusing when you come here first. I mean, there's so many impressions which are very different from either Europe or from the States, right? You got all the traffic, the jeepneys. Guys, at that time, uh, it was really different. Or for that matter, buy everything at once. <laughs> when you first arrive, take it easy. Okay. Rest. Okay. Recuperate. Okay. Then venture forth with caution. All right. That's a good suggestion. Taking one experience at a time. You'll be warned about crime. Yeah. Residential areas and the more prosperous stores are under sale? constant armed guard. Ah, Makati supermarket. Don't be surprised or alarmed. In the United States, banks and industrial firms use private security forces, and the trend is increasing in residential areas. Oh, that's true, huh? So you saw there Makati supermarket. I think that is the one where Greenville is now, right? And then, of course, Metropolitan Bank, which became Metro Bank today, huh? I think the thing with the security guards everywhere, that was also something that really hit me when I first came to the Philippines. Because it, kahit saan mayon, ano security guard, di ba? Gabi. Sa ibang bansa, wala ganun eh. Kahit sa mall, sa entrance, kahit sa McDonald's, sa Pizza Hut. Imagine you're going into McDonald's to buy a burger and you already got, you know, a security guard with a pump gun and everything. You know, that for me was a, a very strange experience. And I think that is really something that hits most Europeans or Americans where they come to the Philippines. You may notice some citizens carrying firearms. Yeah. <laughs> he's just having a gun right there in his pants. Well, at least it's not like that anymore. Ganun ba talaga tate? Kasi I never seen people just walking around with a gun like that. It was a familiar sight in America not so long ago. Okay. And is still not completely unknown. 
you'll hear about the Hux. Ah, yeah, the Hux. An internal dissident problem. Right. And you'll read anti-American editorials. Hear newscasts attacking American imperialists. Little times. You may even see street demonstrations. I, I don't I don't think we have too many street demonstrations anymore. This is already a, a thing of the past in the Philippines, I think. But don't lose your cool. Okay. Get to know the people. All right. Well, the people are very nice here, no? They're warm. Yeah. Friendly and hospitable. Correct. Also, they're Asians, sensitive, emotional. So remember about saving face. Right, right. You'll find that this assignment can be a lesson in togetherness, a lesson in communication. You'll share new experiences, work out cultural differences, and you just might go back to the States knowing a little bit more about the world That's true. than when you left. That's true. The fact is that most Americans are just too busy to learn about cultural differences. Oh, that's true, actually. No. Or at least that's our excuse. Yes. I, I think um, culture in the U.S. Uh, is very different from, like, for instance, Europe. Because in Europe, we have so many different cultures all uh, within just a few hours' drive from each other. Like, I can go from Denmark to Germany or to Switzerland, Austria, just in a couple of hours, you know, just by driving a car. And the culture is really different. Because uh, in the US, um, more or less, everything is the same. So it doesn't matter whether you are on the West Coast or the East Coast, in LA, New York. Uh, very similar. Very similar. Because, of course, there are no differences. But it's not as much as in other Europe or here in Asia. We go from, like, for, of course, Philippines and Thailand, a big difference. So I, I think Americans are, are looking at culture very different from us. Well, what is the point? Do you really need to know all this to get along in the Philippines? Yeah, it would be better. Let's look at it this way. To experience the Philippines, you have to get out among the people. Yes. See the country. Yeah. Understand their environment. That's right. You can't really say you've been to the Philippines until you've visited the mountains of northern Luzon. That's true. Near the town of Banaui, where you'll find one of the world's most inspiring sites. Correct. Wow, the famed good. rice terraces hand carved from the mountainside centuries ago. These irrigated terraces are an engineering marvel. Laid end to end, they would measure more than halfway around the world. Wow, really? Okay. In the heart of this ancient country, there's a modern hotel with all the modern facilities. Really? What's the name of this hotel? Does anybody know? Because that looks really good. If that's up in, uh, in the mountains at Banawa, I really want to go and visit that. So if you know what it is, leave me a comment. Huh? It looks so nice. Another favorite vacation spot is the resort town of Baguio. Hiya, of course, Baguio. This is high mountain country, right. cool but never cold. That's right. The President's Summer Palace is in Baguio, flanked by the homes of affluent Filipinos. Yes. States. And right on the outskirts of town, there's John Hay Air Base, an important communication site that doubles as a recreational and conference facility for U.S. military personnel and their dependents. Well, that's definitely changed a lot since then, huh? Among other attractions, John, John Hay. Hay is noted for its perpendicular golf course. Yes, even until now, the bar. Take a trip Go up on. the green tropical Pagsanhan oh, River. River. <laughs> He's out to shoot the rabbits. Yeah, beautiful and huh? nature, isn't it? Shoot the rabbits. Yes, shoot the rabbits. <laughs> Oi, don't fall down, Kuya. <laughs> oh, it looks amazing with the waterfalls. But that's really one thing in the Philippines everybody comes to see. That's the nature of the map. I think I better go up there and do this. Don't miss seeing Ta'al Lake with its live volcano. Wow, look at that. Look at the crater. Visit Manila's magnificent cultural sense. Wow, it looks so clean that time. Look at that. I mean, just a green field about the cultural center. 
looks very different today, huh? I mean, it's still nice, but it, it just look different somehow. Must clean, no? The ancient walled city. All right, it's Morris. Looks a bit different today, doesn't it? And pay your respects to Corregidor. Oh yeah, Corregidor. For in World War II, American and Filipino comrades stood together yes. under siege. Wow. I, th I think there is a, uh, uh, a boat or ferry going from uh, somewhere near to Mall of Asia. And it goes all the way to Corregidor. And you can stay there overnight as far as I understand. And then you can come back the next day. So guys, if you want to go for a trip like this, I will try to take one very soon and see how it is. And then you guys can decide if you want to go. But I definitely suggest you should. Like the land he lives in, the Filipino himself has a diverse, complex personality. <laughs> really? In the Asiatic tradition, yes. family generally means a rather extensive group that's true including not only parents and children but aunts uncles yeah. distant cousins friends and yes even friends of friends <laughs> as well that's true families in the philippines are so important right and they're usually very big now yes he said you have extended family these family units or groups form the oh, basic cute. social structure of filipino society so cute. Each individual member, young or old, tailors his personal desires and feelings to those of the family as a whole. See and army. Thus, the loner personality as we know it scarcely exists in Filipino That's true. society. That's true. I think Europeans and Americans really live very differently because it's like, uh, as he said, a loner life. It doesn't mean we are lonely, but we are just living alone. And sometimes that's also very nice because you can really, you know, uh, do whatever you like to do. And you can also reflect and think much better sometimes if you're alone. But on the other hand, then you do miss having all the families around, right? The family group, nice some wealthy and powerful, many striving toward a middle yeah. class stability, are themselves member units of the largest family of all. Which one? The Philippine nation. Ah, Philippine nation, okay. Within his family group, the child learns courtesy, yes. consideration, the gentle art of getting along. Okay. Mm -hmm. He is taught to love and honor his elders. Of course. To put spiritual matters above worldly aims. Absolutely. He learns to love, laugh, and enjoy the passing days. <laughs> the Filipino is never uptight. There are no homes for the aged. No one is ever alone. Well, that's great. All right, so you saw here some clips from a video which is supposedly teaching American soldiers how to live and behave and what to expect in the Philippines in 1971. And I think it was actually quite interesting to see what they were telling the American soldiers. A few surprises, but I think mostly it was really things which make common sense, right? And I think it's good that they really teach them a little bit before they got here, so at least they know them on how to behave, right? Okay, so guys, as always, if you do like my channel, please remember to subscribe. And the most important thing is, of course, to click the bell button so you'll be notified whenever I have new videos for you. And don't forget, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up, right? Okay, so see you later, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.